What's going on guys? My name is Don't Panic 494 and what we've got today is a little Operation Metro Rush gameplay. Now, really quick before we get going, I realize there's no game audio. Um, essentially, I've been trying a lot of different setups for recording. I've uh, been looking for a solution to the problem where I can't really record different audio tracks for different programs. Um, so I was looking for a solution that would let me record TeamSpeak on one channel, uh, in-game on another, Skype, obviously, if I'm doing Skype on a different channel. Essentially break it all up so I can have people talking in TeamSpeak, and if I wanted to, I could just delete that from the gameplay. Um, so I was exploring different solutions for that. This was a test run of one of those solutions. Uh, that test actually ruined the audio for this uh, particular gameplay. So... We're going naked on this one. The gameplay was good enough for me to save, though, so I hope you guys don't mind. And for all of the gameplays going forward, they should be fine because I'm going back to the stock DX Tori uh, recording setup. So, again, I apologize for that, but it's not going to be an issue going forward. The other thing I wanted to just touch on before you really get going is a little bit of background of this gameplay. So, I'm playing with my buddy Kenny. And we had been on this server for probably four games before this, and there were two or three level 100 guys on the other team with 100 plus or 100 service stars on their M16s that were absolutely rolling us. Um, they were talking a bunch of trash in chat, just essentially being jerks all around. And they were kind of taunting me because I was topping the leaderboards, but we weren't pulling the games out. And so I decided that I was going to pull out my M16 and just curb stomp them for a game. And I'm pretty sure they rage quit about halfway through. But um, I felt the need to post this gameplay because I just like the way it played out. I hope any of those people that were playing eventually get to see this video because I think it's humorous. But as you can see, I've kind of taken control of the left lane. I actually had run out of ammo a while ago. I just picked up that gentleman's kit who luckily was using the exact same setup as me, so got to kind of pick up right where I left off. Um, but yeah, essentially I was just shutting down the left lane, kind of hanging out here. They had a lot of people trying to push this lane. Um, you know, 90% of my team was on the right side. Was, ah, look at this, 2%. That was the only time I died this entire video, and I almost had that guy. Caught me right in the middle of a reload, switched my pistol, put, I thought, every bullet on target from the hip fire, but... Clearly, I must have clipped him the leg one or two times because he finished me off with 2% health. But anyways, I just kind of worked my way back over to that left lane and continue to shut them down. Moving right along, if you guys are watching this video on the day of the upload, that means it's Mother's Day. So I want to take a quick moment to just thank my mom for all of her support with everything that I've done so far in my life. Uh, she continues to be supportive now that I'm starting up this YouTube channel and I'm going back to school in a few months. And she's being very supportive of that as well. So, shout out to my mom. You guys should all give your mom a shout if you're watching this in time if you haven't done so already. Taking a few minutes is really the least you can do. But getting back to the gameplay, as you can see here, I actually spot one of these spawn beacons. That was the gentleman I just killed. So, realizing I can't hit it, um, I just kind of hang out for a second, wait for him to spawn, and get him again. I love hanging out on this left lane on Metro Defense just because you always get those attackers that are trying to get a jump on you. They don't really expect a lot of resistance all the way this close to the water. Um, and there really isn't that much resistance usually. Like, there aren't that many defenders that hang out this part of the water. Um, but you have a great view of the recons that are hugging the actual shoreline. You have a view of like these guys right here that in their eyes are on the far side. Uh, but they're really not. There's a lot of room to work with. And you get a really good view of pretty much half of the map. Uh, you can see all the way up to the crest of that hill, essentially. So you can cover, you know, part of that mid lane. You can cover the entire left lane. Uh, and you really don't need that many people to do it. Um, I'm pretty much alone. I've got one or two people with me, but they kind of die a lot along the way. Um, but you really can shut this down just if you're paying attention, you're being, you know, aware of your surroundings and you're kind of focused on where they're moving as a team. Uh, like I said, they don't usually push really hard on this lane. A lot of people concentrate on mid or the brick wall side, but there are always people here. And when you have, 
you know, a 32 player server that has a hundred ticket uh, attacker count, you really need to get as many kills as you can as fast as possible, especially on these first MCOMs. Uh, once you get inside, it's a little easier to, you know, bleed them. But on this first stage, there's a lot of room to work. Um, if, you know, they're moving with any sort of cohesion as a team, they can usually pull off uh, Bravo pretty quickly. But they usually do that from mid and this lane. So if you have someone, one or two people doing kind of what I'm doing here, you can really shut down Bravo as an opportunity for them. And at this point, I'm really just being a pest. Like I said, these guys were being huge jerks. They've probably left by now. Uh, I think I checked the scoreboard eventually, and I don't see them anywhere. But I'm literally just hanging here and preventing anyone from even entering my lane. There's still a bunch of people trying to grab me. There's still people trying to enter the lane, but just with no success. If you take a quick look at the minimap, you can see at least five people bunched up getting ready to you know try to push up in this lane all of them are shooting in my direction which is why I can't really get a shot off and look at this I try like five times to revive Kenny here just not having it but anyways I just kinda go back hide behind this little booth here uh, if you can push your way up here this is a spot where you can just do work on them especially if they're trying to enter the lane I mean as you can see I don't even have my primary anymore because I'm out of ammo and I'm still doing work with the pistol they've got some snipers posted up that are not moving around very well they're just trying to get a headshot uh, and you get these guys that are trying to cover it looks like there was one guy shooting towards the mid lane but I mean if you can set yourself up in this position right here you can pretty much cover this entire lane the only way that they're gonna get into the lane is if they push up really hard mid like beyond that crest of that hill and then cut over and you just got to hope at that point that you've got some teammates covering your back. But, I mean, in, in just a couple seconds here, Kenny ends up spawning his support. He comes all the way back here. I check my score just to make sure that I'm owning. And at this point, it really is just GG. I'm actually going to cut away some of the footage. Uh, I got ammo back, and I just hang here, pick off a few people, prevent them from entering this lane. And effectively, what I've done is I've forced their team to enter mid. And we've got our entire defense in mid. So it didn't take long for us to grab those last 25 tickets or so uh, and, you know, just win the game. So it felt really good to do that, especially to a couple, I think it was three people. There's being huge jerks the last three games or so, talking all sorts of trash, playing with their 100 service star M16s. And don't get me wrong. If you want to be a tryhard, that's totally fine, totally understandable, but just don't be a dick about it. That's the part that I don't understand. So you're going to be a tryhard, there are no other tryhards on the server, and you're just going to be a jerk to everybody? That's not cool. So, felt the need to teach them a lesson, think I successfully did so, and I sleep better at night because of it. But I want to thank you guys for watching, I appreciate the support. Go ahead and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. We're going to be doing a lot more content uh, coming up in the very near future. So again, have a great rest of your weekend, guys, and I'll see you next time.